Manufacturing is more than just putting parts together. It's coming up with ideas, testing principles and perfecting the engineering, as well as final assembly. You need a stubborn belief in an idea in order to see it realized. Everyone has ideas. They may be too busy or lack the confidence or technical ability to carry them out. But I want to carry them out. It is a matter of getting up and doing it. We should have A levels in vocational subjects. If you want to do something different, you're going to come up against a lot of naysayers. When decisions on nuclear power stations and runways are delayed and the government dilly dallies, people think they aren't important. As a modern employer, you have to treat people well. I don't particularly follow the Bauhaus School of Design, where you make everything into a black box, simplify it. Everybody recognizes that if you can make very efficient electric motors, you can make a quantum leap forward. Some people are academically inclined, some vocationally, and we shouldn't penalize the latter. So I think the winners in recession are the people who produce new technology that does things better, which people really want. Life is a mountain of solvable problems, and I enjoy that. Engineering is treated with disdain, on the whole. It's considered to be rather boring and irrelevant. Yet neither of those is true. We should learn to live more with our climate, and rely less on electricity to alter our climate. If robots are to clean our homes, they'll have to do it better than a person. Enjoy failure and learn from it. You can never learn from success. Failure is an enigma. You worry about it, and it teaches you something. When you can't compete on cost, compete on quality. Companies are not ingenious. It's the people in them that are. The computer dictates how you do something, whereas with a pencil you're totally free.